I'm Laura and welcome to my channel. I garden in Zone 4A and I live in Ontario, Canada. Come on in and see what I was up to this morning. I have to go vertically instead of horizontally to get the whole stick in there. Remember the stick with the hook I said for dipping into the water bucket and I can water some of my plants that way? Yeah, I got that off another YouTube channel. Um, it's similar to what she made, and uh, I'll link her channel name, Robbie, in the description box below this video. But I wanted to show you, because I had this uh, peanut butter, um, empty peanut butter container, and I thought, hey, I can use that. And I got all kinds of things in the garage, and I had a kitchen knob I took off of an old kitchen door, and I had zip ties. And it does, however, leak a bit through the zip tie holes, but you pour it out so quickly it really doesn't matter. But you know what I found while harvesting just before it's supposed to rain this morning? Is that I could take this water pitcher on a stick with a hook contraption for measuring cucumbers as well. It's multi-purpose. <laughs> I could take it, I could hang it off of my tomato cage that's sitting next to my green beans that are growing. And I could hook it on the cage, and I could harvest my green beans, and just plop them in there, which is what I did. Now, you know, right now, this is my very first harvest of green beans off of the plant. So that's pretty good. And I didn't want to leave them much longer, because I have a lot more green beans growing, and I don't want the plant to stop. I want it to keep going, because it's just started. So I thought I'd bring out a few little things from my china cabinet, just to sort of pretty up this display while I talk to you about this peanut butter container to use as a harvesting tool that I don't have to hang on to. I just hook it on the tomato gauge that's next to my green bean potted plant. And it worked beautifully. So, <laughs> I just thought I would quickly, as quickly as I can, bring you here and show you this. What do you think of my little hummingbird? Isn't it precious? And this beautiful, beautiful, I guess it's a rooster? with its crop and everything. Isn't it gorgeous? I found that in a home and housewares plant. I, um, uh, home and ho housewares store, I believe. I think I did. Does it say on the bottom where I got it from? Mm, no, just says made in China. But I thought it was cute and I used it in a uh, puff taco video and it suited the video just perfectly. So I brought out my cutting board that's yellow to go with the yellow in the rooster. And uh, this is one that I don't use yet because when you use them, they get all nasty looking, you know, cut marks. <laughs> Unless you remember to only cut on one side and leave the other side not cut, but I'm not that good. Anyhow, hooray for my first harvest of green beans for 2023. And yesterday, I picked uh, the jalapenos because the plant was going outside from my indoor garden and I had one little lonely tomato there ready to fall off in my indoor garden. Yeah, so I picked it too. A little pop of red. Sort of goes with the roosters. Whatever you call that on top. Yeah. Alrighty then. I thought that was over, but I just gave my green beans a rinse before I wrap them up and put them in the refrigerator until dinner time. Could someone leave um any ideas in the description box what I could do with this little bit of green beans for my dinner and possibly one little tiny cherry tomato and uh, just a bit of the jalapeno because <laughs> I couldn't eat all that. That would, that would kill, my, kill my stomach. Um, what can I do with just a little bit of green beans? Now, I have a couple of potatoes. Now, typically, I would steam them both and put a little butter and parsley over the top and call it a day, but I want to do something differently. Does anybody that has a small harvest, like a first harvest of their green beans, what do they do with them for dinner time? Please help me out here. I'm struggling with trying to find different ways to cook different things, and my channel is Food Time and Garden, so help, help out a fellow creator. What can I do with these green beans? Please help. Chris Clifford says it too. He's tired of my same old, same old. Yeah, my mascot's getting pushy, and he's, he's becoming outspoken. Oh dear, watch out for that. As I said, Clifford is getting a little pushy, and he wants me to party like a pineapple. I don't know what that means, because I didn't party like a pineapple when I was young, 
And I'm certainly not going to party like a pineapple now. I did, however, buy some uh, canned pineapple from Amazon. It got delivered. I can chill some pineapple in the refrigerator and have it for dessert. Mmm, would that be considered Clifford as partying like a pineapple? I see Clifford eye in that jalapeno. You better be careful, my little mascot. You might not like the results of that. Oh boy, I think the bananas, because uh, it's so warm in the house, I think they're ready for banana bread. Yeah, or banana cake. I found a recipe oh, for a banana cake from MarthaStewarts.com and uh, I brought up my Cuisinart blender to make the oat milk. So, let's see, I only need two bananas. And I think I have four. One, two, three. How many are there? I can't see. Yeah, there's four there. I can make two banana breads. So, you know what I might do? I might make one banana bread cake with the regular powdered skim milk, because I don't buy regular milk, and make the other banana cake with the oat milk. Now, should I do that? Uh, as long as I strain the oat milk. Don't leave the pulp in there. They say the pulp can... The, the pulp? No, not the Catholic pope. <laughs> pulp uh, can be used in baking and smoothies. Do I have anything to make a smoothie with? Pineapple. I have pineapple. I can make a smoothie. And they use the, the oat um, milk pulp to thicken the smoothie. Or you could use a banana, too. I used to use bananas all the time. You know, when I was younger, I used to make a power drink every morning. Yes, I did. And it was a heck of a lot thinner than I am now, I tell you. Yeah, thin is not in my description. I'm sorry, but yeah. Anyway, that's, 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 that's beside the point. But the point was, I would have a protein drink. So I used to buy the protein powder, and I would use that with whole milk, and I would throw a banana in there. And it was delicious. And occasionally I'd throw an egg in there before I was afraid of consuming raw eggs. Yeah. Uh, and I wasn't any worse for wear for it. So, I, or I just got lucky and didn't get salmonella from a bad egg. But usually I bought them from the grocery store and ate them right away that way. Because I would have the, the uh, protein drink every morning. So I would go through the, uh, through the uh, eggs quite quickly. So, yeah, I think... Uh, with this approaching thunderstorm that's supposed to be coming, I'm going to make two banana cakes, possibly one with oat milk. And I hope you want to see how I make the oat milk in my Cuisinart, because I'm going to try and film it. What do you think about that, Clifford? My deputy sheriff from Santa Fe, who now lit, resides in Ontario, Canada. Do you think that's a good idea for the folks to see me make banana cake and how I make oat milk? For the very first time, because I've never made that before either. Um, just like the evaporated milk from the uh, skim milk powder. You think that's a good idea? Yeah? You excited about that? Oh, I'm glad. Because, yeah. You know, not everything on the internet works. They say you can make evaporated milk out of skim milk. No, no. No. No, I don't know. That didn't work. You can make it out of whole milk. I've done that before and it works. Not as good as what you could buy in a can, but it's a good substitute. But the powdered milk? No, that didn't work for me at all. Not, no. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't watch my last video and do it because it didn't work. And I say in the video, it didn't work. Everything was just didn't work. The whole thing really didn't work. But now that the noodles, I checked them this morning, they have absorbed the rest of the liquids, which I knew they would do eventually. Yeah, they did. So dinner's already. Uh, it's made because I'm going to eat the same thing I had probably for the next few days. And Clifford, guess what? We're going to have us some banana cake because I'm going to make that today. Yes, I am. So remember, folks, please leave in the description box below what I can do with those few green beans that I harvested this morning. Please remember, I have onions in the freezer that are already cut up. I have a few potatoes, white potatoes, that are in the bag from the grocery store. I have fresh celery uh, from my indoor garden. Sorry about the light. Uh, but yeah, fresh celery from my indoor garden that I can use. You will not take it flying over here. Uh, if you really want me to, I have one little tomato and 
some of the jalapeno. I won't use a whole one because that would be too much for me. But you know what? If I had stuff to stuff it, this is a nice one for stuffing. But I don't have the stuff. I don't know. I shouldn't eat cream cheese. Yeah, that would be so good. You know, I've actually never tasted that. I've never tasted a jalapeno popper. Yeah. Well, I have a very uh, uh, unexciting life. <laughs> I see the things that people are eating. I've never even tried. And uh, well, I never went out to eat a lot. That's probably why. I wasn't one to go out and eat a lot. I'd rather cook at home. I enjoy cooking. I enjoy washing dishes. I had a dishwasher, and I'd rather wash the dishes by hand than use the dishwasher. Because point A, I use less water. Point B, they were always wet coming out of the dishwasher no matter what I did. They didn't air dry, so I had to leave the door ajar, which nine times out of ten I would bang my hip into at night, coming for a cup of cold water out of the fridge, because I'd forget, because I'd leave it um, by the sink, so, you know, the cupboard where the dishes go back into was by the sink, so I just left it there. Yeah, I can be clumsy. I'm sitting by my computer desk in the mess that it is. Uh, this is my desktop screen. I wanted to show you. What do you think about my artwork? I did this for a story that I did back in 2016. I drew the train and the Iowa corn uh, stalls and the, the van. Uh, it was the Weary Traveler. It was a uh, audio um, sort of animated because I did the drawings, the panels, and it came out once a week. So I thought I would show you my train. I'm very proud of my train. <laughs> As the story progressed, my digital artwork became better. When I started, it not so much because I'd always drawn on, you know, paper looking down. Um, but you couldn't look down at what you were drawing. You had to look at your screen, your computer screen, on the digital tablet that my son gave me. Because he bought a tablet, another tablet for himself. And it was one that you could look down as you drew. And he said, you might have trouble, Mom, drawing, looking up at your, your screen, your computer screen, when you're drawing down, like on the tablet. And I said, okay. So, but actually I didn't. It was just my skill <laughs> with the tablet was uh, lacking. But over the weeks, and it took weeks, weeks and weeks and weeks, to do this audiobook. This was part seven of the audiobook. And... Um, yeah, I got better. I took my time. I gave myself a week to do each uh, audio story. And each audio story had multiple pictures. Some did, some didn't. It depended on what my storyline, where it was going. But uh, you can't, uh, it's not online now on my channel because it was on my original channel, Birch Tree Guardian Gardener. And when they had all that rigmarole about the kids and the YouTube and all that stuff, I got scared and deleted my channel because I had sort of cartoony type things on there with my animation and my stories and I I didn't want it to be, I don't know, I just got scared and I deleted my channel. I did, however, have over a thousand subscribers back then. Not a lot, but a lot more than I have now. I can't even get up to 200 now, but uh, that's beside the point. I just wanted to show you this train and uh, leave in the comment below what you think of it. Please, that would be nice to hear if anybody gets this far in this video that's, you know, a hodgepodge of different things <laughs> to get this far. And you see my train that I drew by hand, um, well, not, well, yeah, by hand on a digital tablet and then made a story with this train, among other pictures that, you know, followed suit. Anyway, leave a comment below. What do you think about my train? My grandma was born in Iowa, which is why I wanted sort of Iowa landscape. So it was a homage to her. I love her so much. <laughs>